Good afternoon, my crafty friends. How are you today? Today is, oh, let me see, Wednesday, July 5th, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I'm coming to you live from the cottage where it is 100 degrees, I swear, inside. It's a little bit cooler outside because there's a bit of a breeze, but uh, yeah, it's very, very muggy. Um, anyways, uh, if you pop on, please say hello. And um, if you're watching the replay, please also say hello. I'm just going to see if I can get this to show up on my iPad. So just bear with me a moment. And we'll see if we can get it to show up. And there it is. So I can see. Okay, perfect. All right, so um, what do I have for you today? I have lots. There is lots of stuff coming down the pipe for... Uh, July and it all starts tomorrow morning. So make sure you're up early. <laughs> all right, so what have we got? So starting tomorrow, we have some new online exclusives. Hi, Rose. Thanks for joining me today. All right, so the online exclusives, I'm not sure if you all know, but there are certain products that are not in the catalog that you can find online only. So if you go to stampinup.ca, and then go to uh, shop products and then go to uh, scroll down to online exclusives. You will see a uh, product there. Okay, that is only online. Now, some of the online exclusives, when stock is depleted, it's gone. Other stuff they will replenish. And we don't know, I don't know anyways, which ones when they're gone, they're gone and which ones they'll replenish. So if there's something that you really want, then I would order it. Okay. So what, uh, what I can tell you tomorrow on the, my, you know what, it's so hot in here, I've got the fan going and it's blowing my papers everywhere. But anyway, so there is a new stamp set and punch uh, that will be added tomorrow, which I think is called something like Keep On Trucking. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it's called, but it has this cute little um, truck punch. It is so cute. Anyways, uh, I have been reading comments on this um, stamp set and punch, and everyone is predicting that it will sell out probably the first day even. So if it's something you're interested in, I would suggest you order it tomorrow. Okay. Uh, there's also a Christmas suite, uh, which consists of uh, a stamp set, some dies, uh, some beautiful designer series paper, uh, this designer series paper is so nice, you can just stick it on a base card and a sentiment and you're done. So easy Christmas cards, okay? And the suite also includes some adhesive snowflakes. There are two other Christmas stamp sets that will be added. There is a Hanukkah stamp set that will be added, uh, a floral stamp set and some dies. And I think there may be one new ribbon, uh, a red ribbon that will be added as well. But anyways, um, I'm not 100% positive, so you need to go and check tomorrow. And I need to go and check tomorrow, too. Okay, I will be ordering that truck for sure tomorrow because I really want that. Okay, also tomorrow morning, the clearance rack is getting a refresh. So uh, check that out because things are discounted and things go fast on the, when the clearance rack is updated. Okay, so if there's anything there you want, add that to your order. Last but not least, starting tomorrow as well and running through till the end of July, July 31st, we have bonus day coupons. So if you're not sure what that is, you place an order for $60. Let's rephrase that. For every $60 order you place, excluding uh, or before tax and shipping, you will get a $6 coupon. Okay, so let's just say, for example, you order $300 worth of product, you before tax and shipping, you would get five $6 coupons, okay? So that's $30. And then you can redeem them uh, during the month of August, okay? So the whole month, as many as often as you order, for every $60, um, you'll get a $6 coupon. However, bear in mind that if you only order $40 on one order and $40 on another, you will get zero. So your order must be at least $60 um, to get the coupon, okay? And I think that's it, I hope. Anyway, so today, if you have any questions on any of that, um, don't hesitate to reach out and ask me, okay? Hi, Jean. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, so this is week one playing with Zany Zoo. 
I love Zany Zoo. I love all these little characters. They are so cute. So I am going to try and turn the camera down. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, so bear, bear with me. This is uh, something that, you know, I use at the cottage and I haven't used it in like 10 months. So let's see if I can remember how to do it. All right. Turn this down. Don't think that's the way I wanted it to go. Oh, and I can't stretch it out any further because it's on the edge of the table. So let me just move some of the stuff if I can. Bear with me a minute, guys. And I'll move. Oh, my papers are all stuck to the table. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I move that up there. Is that better? Okay, that looks pretty good there, I think. Well, you know, I might even be able to move this up a little bit. Is that any better? Ooh, that's better, eh? Okay. Anyway, that's as good as it's going to get. All right. So, this is the Zany Zoo. I have to watch the iPad so I make sure I'm still on camera. Come back a little bit. <laughs> All right, this is the Zany Zoo stamp set. Look at these guys. Look at a little ballerina a llama knitting, a turtle singing, um, a, I guess this is a squirrel, I don't know. He's got the binoculars, a raccoon with balloons, alligator riding a bike, oh my goodness, like just so much fun, okay? These, so there are 11 different uh, stamps uh, in the stamp set, and they have coordinating dies, so these are Zany Zoo dies, and there are 20 dies in this set. So we have one that will cut the alligator out, one that will cut the raccoon, one that will cut this, um, I don't know what this is, a lion or whatever. I don't know what it is. Um, one that will cut this one, I think, the turtle and the llama. And then there are also some others, okay? We have some curtains here. We have some tie backs for the curtains, so you can have a little stage. We've got some trees, some little flowers, bigger flowers. We've got balloons, clouds. Oh my goodness, so much to play with in this Zany Zoo stamp set and dies. Okay, and here is the paper. We're not using the paper today, but I did want to show you. So look at these guys. Oh my God, they are just so cute. Now, the die for the raccoon, We'll cut this out of the DSP. Bonus. Okay? There, you will have to fussy cut everything else, but it will cut the raccoon out. Okay? Oh, just a minute. Sorry, I just dropped something on the floor that I need. Okay. And that's the other size. Excuse me, black, black and white. The other sides are all black and white, and these have, like, stars in them. Okay? <laughs> I told you to... I'm trying to find a place to put this. Okay, and then we have this one. This is all like camping. Okay, so we've got some trees. This guy's got a, a camera. This guy's got binoculars. And again, the, um, oh, that one I didn't know what it was. I said it was a raccoon Look, or a, a squirrel. It looks more like a skunk. Um, okay, so he's got binoculars and a little bird on him. This one's uh, a lion. He's to toasting marshmallows over the fire. And a little pig backpacking. Oh my goodness, so, so cute. And these are just some little flowers. All right, number three. Look at, these are all like ballerinas. Oh my God, so cute. So again, the die will cut this one out. Okay, and the rest you'll have to fussy cut. But look how, oh my goodness, these guys are just so cute. And that's the other side. Okay, this one is all musical notes. They're all, um, all musical. Look at this little frog. Oh, he's so cute. Look at that. This guy's playing the accordion or oh, the bongos, the banjo. So, so, oh, and here's, a, oh, I got that one already. Oh, and the little turtle. We're going to be playing with the turtle today. And again, the die will cut this turtle out. Sorry, I'm off camera. We'll cut this turtle out on the, uh, with, with the die, we'll cut it out of the DSP, okay? So, skunk, yeah, thanks, Rose. <laughs> I just saw that. 
She told me it was a skunk, and I said it was a raccoon or, or a squirrel or whatever. All right, this, this is all travel. So these guys are riding a motorcycle, a little bunny on a scooter, uh, a one-wheel thing, a uh, unicycle, and then the alligator. And again, um, the die will cut out the alligator from the GSP. Oh, and the other side. Again, it's all black and white. Okay. And last but not least, these guys are, we have baking, reading, and knitting. Oh, and some art. Okay, so we've got a guy making some, drawing a picture. This guy's meditating. This guy looks like he's baking. And the llama's obviously knitting. Oh, and there is reading. So uh, again, the llama, there's a die, and we'll cut this out of the GSP designer series paper. Okay, and then that's the other side. Okay. All right, so just checking to see if I missed any comments. Hello, Mary, how are you? Uh, Mary, I don't know if you're home or not, but I have an order for you. So uh, maybe we can tee something up and you can come pick it up at some point. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm just reading some other comments here, so it's throwing me off. Okay, so I'm starting with a piece of um, mm, basic white thick. So it is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I'm telling you, it's so stinking hot. <laughs> so hot, I can't even think. And all my papers are curling and they're all sticking. Oh, and guess what? On a, on a personal note, tomorrow is my anniversary, and we will have been married 49 years. Can you imagine? 49 years. All right. So I use the Mary Melody uh, 3D embossing folder. I've already run it through, and I cut a piece of Lemon Lime Twist, and this is four by five and a quarter. So just a quarter of an inch smaller than the front of this, okay? And I've already run it through to save some time. And I'm going to glue that on. Oh, I should tell you this, um, the inspiration for this card, uh, I was at a stamp camp, big party next year, Jean says, yeah, for, for our 50th. Uh, I was at stamp camp uh, a couple of weeks ago and this card was designed by one of our Team Stick sisters, Wendy Chan. So I want to give her credit for the inspiration of this card. So you don't always have to come up with your own ideas. You can steal things from other people. Yeah, we're just gonna put that on there. Okay, there we go. And then I'm, oh, what do I want? Okay, so I'm going to put a piece of blueberry bushel on here, and I'm going to cut it out using my deckled rectangles. Okay, so these are the deckled rectangles, and I'm using the fourth largest one. Okay, so it's a little bit longer than I wanted. I didn't want it quite that long. So what I'm going to do is cut this. And I will be, well, actually, I can probably cut it here. This is why I have no room on my table. Because I have this on here. For those of you who do craft, you know you never have enough room, no matter how much room you have. You just never have enough. Okay. So this is just a little bit too long. I didn't want it quite this long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, Put this back on the cut and emboss machine and just move this up so it'll cut it off here okay and i'm just going to stick it on with a piece of washi tape so it will stay straight i think it'll stay straight actually i can't really see hang on all right i'm using this uh non stampin up mat so that's why i didn't want to show you but anyways so I'm just going to cut a little bit off. I got a little bit of tape here to hold it in place. And I will just run that through. Okay. 
I have to hurry because my neighbors next door are waiting for me to come over for a glass of wine. So I don't want to miss out on that. Heaven forbid, eh? <laughs> okay. So there we go. Now you'd never know, right, that it was redone. And then that little piece can go in the garbage. Okay. All right, let me put that back. And then we're just going to kind of put that on an angle like that. That could go in the garbage too. And I've already cut a white piece that I want to put on there like that. All right, but now we need to do some stamping. So we're going to stamp the turtle. I'm going to stamp him in the black. No, I don't want to put him on there. Oh, good thing I remember before I did that. I want to cut him out and pop him up. So I need to put him on a separate piece like that. Yeah, so anyways, I came to the cottage and I did this um, thing. I don't even know what day it was now, Thursday night, um, which was for demonstrators only. And it's a new product that's coming out in the new catalog in September. So I brought all the colored inks I needed for that and the paper and everything else, but I forgot to bring um, the inks I needed to do that, to do this card. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna let that just sit for a minute. And I did find, however, I'm using blueberry bushel, but I did find, uh, I brought up a paper pumpkin, the most recent paper pumpkin, and it had this little stamp and spot in it of uh, Night of Navy. So it's not blueberry bushel, but it's close enough as best I can do. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna use. You know, when you don't have something, you just kind of have to improvise, right? So we're gonna ink this up. This says, happy birthday to you. Okay, and I'm just gonna put him on an angle like that. And then I have these little musical notes that are also in the stamp set. So I'm gonna ink them up in the navy as well. And let's see, let's put one here like that. And we'll put one down here. And that's all the stamping I think we're doing today. All right, this black just looked really thick, so I was just gonna kind of let it dry for a minute. All right. And we're going to color it with, let me see what I have here. I have light and dark lemon lime twist. And I have some light pebbled path. And light, oh no, I have dark, sorry, no light. I have dark lemon lolly and light blueberry bushel. Okay, so I'm going to take the light lemon lime twist and I'm going to color my turtle. So, da, 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 da. coloring can be very relaxing. Yeah, let's there. Color his hands, his arms. And his feet, can't forget about his feet. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the lemon lolly. And I'm just gonna color the inside here. This underbelly, I guess it is. And I just make little circles. I'm not doing a bunch of shading or anything. I'm just kind of coloring it here. There we go. All right, that's that. Oh, no, I wanted to do this part here too on his um, shell. I have no idea what color this is supposed to be, so. And then I'm going to take the dark. Uh, lemon lime twist and I'm gonna do his, the outer part of his shell. I just wanted it a little bit darker than his body. So 
just going to do that. I'll just check to see if there's any more comments. Big party next year. Oh, Rose, you celebrated 45 years a couple of weeks ago. Wow. Where does the time go, eh? Seems like just yesterday. Yeah, my two two eldest grandsons were uh, up at the cottage. They came up Friday night. Well, with their parents, obviously. Came up Friday night and... Um, yeah, so we went, they went tubing and had a great time. Then the rain came and uh, so we played Monopoly and uh, then we played some crib and, uh, and then they went home Sunday morning. So it was good. They were only here for a little bit. All right, I'm taking the uh, pebble path and I'm just going to color the microphone. There we go. And my blueberry bushel. There's just a little line here. And I'm just going to put the blue there. There we go. Just like that. All right. So I need the dye. I think this is the dye, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Yep. So we'll line him up. You know what, I need to pull that closer so I can see, because he's too far away. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we'll try and hold him in place there, and I'll just cut him. So what are you guys doing to stay cool? I'm so jealous of all of you in your air-conditioned places. <sighs> Anything? Oh, Mary's home. Good. Okay. All right. So here's my little turtle guy. So let's see what we can do now. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pop this up. I'm just going to glue it on. Because if you pop too many things, as you know, then they don't fit in the envelope. So I'm just going to put this on an angle. Like that. Wow. Even my glue doesn't want to stick. <laughs> and now we're going to put this on. I don't think I need any more stamping on this. That's it. Okay. And I'll just kind of put him on a little bit straighter. Okay, and put a couple of dimensionals on the turtle. So cute, oh my goodness. Just so cute this guy is. But you know me, I love these silly little things. Flowers are nice and stuff, but boy, give me something silly like this and I'm in love. There we go. All right, and we'll just peel these off. Here we go. And he's singing happy birthday to you. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? All right, I've got some Tinsel Gem Spore Pack, and in this is the, well, I'll just look on the back, Lemon Lime Twist and Berry Burst and Blueberry Bushel and Pretty Peacock. Okay, so that's the Tinsel Gems Spore Pack. So I think I'm just going to put the blueberry bushel on and a little sticking to me I I'll just put you know let's put let me see I put one big one up here and then I'll do two little ones down here 
like that. And last but not least, I have some ribbon. This is lemon lime twist ribbon. This comes in a two pack. There is also uh, some petal pink, um, much wider petal pink. I don't have my catalog here. I don't have the petal pink ribbon. I still prepare it, eh? So I'm just gonna, ouch, cut that. Let me put this die back before I lose it. And we're just gonna tie this in a, in a bow. Hopefully. Oh, that's a crappy bow, I tell you. Let's try this again. If at first you don't succeed, I know, give up, right? Come on. Wow. Another crappy bow, but it'll do. Oh, yesterday, last night, I was playing with some crafty stuff and gluing away, and then I realized I was gluing everything on the wrong side, so then into that, I just quit, put it away, decided I'd just watch TV. <laughs> you know, sometimes you're just not meant to craft, right? Okay, and we'll just cut this a little bit shorter. And... Oh, glue dots. Do I have any glue dots? Oh, hopefully I have glue dots somewhere. Let me see. Here we go. Okay, so let me see. Jean says she's jealous of me at the cottage. Yeah, and Rose is hanging out in the basement. Oh, and, <laughs> and taking a dip in the little pool for the that she put up for the grandkids. That's awesome. Peel this off. Yeah, the good thing anyway is at least in the evening it cools down, so it's not too bad for sleeping. We got a nice, our bedroom's in the back and we got a nice, um, a nice breeze that seems to come uh, from the back every night. So fortunately the sleeping is not too, too bad. And then we're just gonna put that there like that. And I believe we're done. And there's the card. So that's week one. Any cute? Come on, guys. I know some of you don't really like, you know, these kind of cutesy cards. But <laughs> but uh, anyway, so you could send this to pretty much anybody. You could send it to a kid, an adult. I mean, it just says happy birthday to you. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Thanks, Rose. She thinks it's cute. Jane thinks it's cute. Awesome. Thank you so much. Mary loves it. Okay. So if you don't have the Zany Zoo guys, you really need to get them because they are so adorable and you can do so much with them. So anyways, that's all I got uh, for today. My glass of wine is calling me, so <laughs> I'm going to be off and um, hopefully I will see you all back here next Wednesday. All right, you guys have a wonderful week. Stay cool, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.